This is no ordinary ship. This is a Viking ship. What more is there to say? Follow me. This ship, the Viking Neptune, I just don't know what to show you first. Will it be the Nordic Spa? Will it be the oysters we had last night at dinner? Or will it be the infinity pool? The Viking Neptune is beyond. Not only is the food world class, the service incomparable, the attention to detail, well, I'll show you. Look at this, we're on deck eight on the sun deck. Look at the towels, they're all perfectly aligned and someone goes around and checks that all the time. Even the books all around the ship are in perfect alignment. The attention to detail is incredible. There's a variety of places to eat and we have never had a bad meal yet. You can sit outside and enjoy the sunshine or inside if you choose. The ship has a capacity of 998 guests and everyone is given individual attention by the friendly and helpful staff. We're having lunch in the pool grill today. Stuart's got the seared tuna with a few chips and some salad and I've got the plant-based vegetarian burger. And it looks like we've booked the pool all to ourselves. It may look like I've got the ship to myself, but trust me, it's full of guests. At the back of deck seven, you can dine outside if you wish. And if you want to, you can jump in the hot tub. Let's have a stroll around the deck. Viking ships offer more options for alfresco dining than any other ship on the sea. The World Cafe is on deck seven where they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. The food is fresh every day and top quality. We have eaten here in the evening and even though it's buffet style, it still feels special. And the food is the standard you would find in a top quality restaurant, catering for all tastes. With live cooking, on open kitchens and premium sushi and seafood. There are a variety of salads and dressings and you really are spoilt for choice. We had to revisit many times in order to take advantage of all the options. The puddings are to die for. And then there's the cheese. The main pool has a retractable dome. It's heated and there's a hot tub. As the roof can be off or on, you can enjoy a swim and a relax by the pool in any weather. Look at this, they've even got suntan lotion on the pool deck for the guests. And wipers for your glasses. Everywhere you go, there are comfy places to relax. The Winter Garden is a quiet work or reading or crossword doing area. And between four and five o'clock, it's tea time and we've got scones and cream and jam. And you do have the option for sandwiches as well. I mean, I'm gonna go home like a barrel. Arts and crafts are a very popular pastime on a world cruise and the standard is amazing. This was a competition. In the Explorer's Bra, you can have late breakfast if you get up late, you can have lunch and they also have extra sandwiches in here at tea time for tea and you've got a wonderful view then you can come back in the evening and have a drink. The upper part of the Explorer's Lounge is where they hold the art and craft classes. And there are a variety of books you can read, just like all over the ship. And also, you can look out to sea to see what you can espy. Look at this. On deck nine, at the top of the ship, there's a little mini golf course, a little putting green. It's such fun. This red thread of fate between us there's plenty of seating on the sports deck to relax and enjoy the spectacular views. So this game's called bocce ball, it's from Italy and in the rules this little word here, spocking, is in the ship's scavenger hunt. Who's in the clue under the skittle bag? You can also play 
Shuffleboard, which I think is a really good game. So this is the sports deck up here. Deck A is the sun deck on Viking Neptune. And today the sun is out, the sea is calm, just a wonderful day to be alive. Everywhere there are these little oases. If you don't want to sit in the sun, there are plenty of places to relax in the shade. Going down to deck seven. Now's the time for a cool off and the best view on the ship. Tonight we're having dinner on the deck. So we've had a lovely meal, lobster and vegetables and then beautiful little tartlets and now we're finishing off with white chocolate grappa. Hey, thank you so much for an incredible evening here on the full deck. We thank you for keeping us well fed this whole world Christmas. These screens are all around the ship, and so whatever you want to know, you can quickly check. So, Viking Daily, that will tell you what's on and when. Go back to home, and if you want to know what's on at the theatre tonight, there you go. And during the day, the guest speakers. What's on in the restaurants? There. This one and this one you have to book, and the rest of them you don't even have to reserve. There's another shop here that takes you through to the spa. There's a variety of shops and plenty of opportunity for window shopping. There are lots of Nordic style gifts to take home for the family or for yourself to remind you of such an amazing time. Here's the hairdressers. The Nordic spa is designed around the holistic wellness of Nordic culture. The gym is state-of-the-art and there's plenty of space to practice yoga, pilates or whichever form of exercise you prefer. In the spa, you can enjoy a traditional bathing ritual with the sauna and snow grotto or unwind with a facial massage. This is the corridor of different treatment rooms. If you're feeling brave, there's a cold plunge pool. This is Manfredi's restaurant and you do have to book here for dinner. It's an Italian restaurant. Manfredi's is very popular and the staff are so accommodating. <laughs> Manfredi's this evening, which is the Italian restaurant on the Viking ship. And I am having asparagus with poached egg on the top and Stuart is having the eggplant. My seafood linguine. Delicious. I think it's called caramello. Opposite Manfredi's on deck one is the chef's table. And there they have a pairing restaurant and you have to book. The opposite end is used for bridge in the day. Tonight we're at the chef's table and we're doing our five courses of wine pairing. So we're starting with an amuse-bouche and it's a sweet potato chip with cream with blue cheese and apple and granola and kumquat and we're pairing it with pinot grigio. So this is the first course, it's a crab cake and it's topped with avocado, fennel, carrot and blood orange and it's paired with a sauvignon blanc. Now this is just a clean palette, it's vodka, ginger beer and lime juice. Now I do hope you appreciate what I'm putting myself through for you. I mean I'm having to try all this food, all this wine, seared halibut with California olive, herb vinaigrette, crumbled roasted cauliflower and buttered panko and it's paired with a chardonnay. This fish is cooked perfectly. It just falls apart and it melts in the mouth. Our last course is a mandarin parfait with roasted almonds and candied ginger, and it's paired with a white port. Now, I wasn't expecting to like this, but it's delish. Apart from the library, there's a book exchange, so you don't have to carry your books home. 
You can leave them for other people to enjoy. The living room and the atrium are in the heart of the ship. Great places to relax with an afternoon coffee. Just picking up my morning crossword. Here are the computers and there are printers. So down on deck one is also the living room. Beautifully decorated, as you can see. Pre-dinner cocktail whilst enjoying some live music performances. And behind the model of the Neptune is the travel consultant for future bookings. If you love your jigsaw puzzles, these can be addictive and it's very hard to walk by without adding at least one piece. So this is the Nordic shop on deck two and guess whose book they're selling? And if you forget anything, or you run out of anything, or you desperately need some sweets, this is your place. Nice sunglasses. Opposite the Nordic shop on Dex 2, you can buy your jewels. Remember, diamonds are a girl's best friend. They have some very nice pieces. Opposite the diamond shop is the Torshaven nightclub, where in the day they have workshops and you can dance the night away to the lively Viking band, or sometimes you can listen to guest entertainers like the fabulous Lawrence Murray. If only I could say to you what I wanted to say. Maybe you'd hear all these words in a different kind of way. It's not so easy to open up again. I've been here all this time. In the middle of deck two, they have the display of Viking heritage. What is there to say? Celebrating the rich history and inspiring legacy There's of the Vikings. This is the main restaurant, still on deck two, and this is where we often eat. The food is superb, and the service is spectacular. This red thread of fate between us, just how long can it be? Tangled and stretched, though it may be. Some big table. with me every day. You think this is small, don't you? But it's actually massive. There's no rhyme or reason Well, I was found this way How big a chicken is that? Big family For you back then This is delicious It is a it's absolutely wonderful culinary lobster cake What more is there to say? And this is the restaurant bar where you can enjoy a drink before or after dinner. Thank you very much and good evening. So, Lawrence, that was a brilliant set in the Winter Gardens. And I'd just like to say thank you so much for letting us use your fantastic track on our film. What are you going to call it? Yeah, thanks for, uh, for recording it and asking me. It's called uh, Red Thread of Fate. It's a oh. name of the song. I thought it would be called um, There's Nothing More to Say. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Because that's what's in my head when I... Yeah. I might have to rename it, yeah. In a different kind of way it's not And at the end of Deck 2, easy. you'll find the Star Theatre, where the guest entertainers are it's and the guest speakers. Again. And at the back of the theatre, these extra seats can be sectioned off and become a cinema. Two, one each side. What is there to say? Welcome to our stateroom on the Viking Neptune. As you can see, we have a lovely spacious double bed. We have a dressing table or somewhere for doing office work if you're so inclined with a phone. There are even binoculars so you can keep an eye out for the wildlife around the ship. We have plenty of PowerPoints. Red thread of fate between us 
So on Viking, you have to set your device to the number of your coach to get the guide. And our hair straighteners if we need to. There's no rhyme or reason for why I was bound this way. The beds are super comfortable with little reading lamps on each side. For you away back then. These tiles still bound. Our points to plug in our phones. Or is that to say? There's a flat screen TV with films and music, or you can book your dinner reservations. And follow me. of wardrobe space and drawer space and if you follow me again there's extra drawer space around here there's your safe there is beverage making facilities there's a hair dryer and if you follow me you'll go to the bathroom always lead to an imprint of your name lovely mirror good lighting nice sink Drawn back to this place Time and time again And as much as I Try to sleep Space your shower It's like the only way Nice glass fronted Cubicle Still, What more could you I ask for? A heated sleep. bathroom floor Fast Wi-Fi so you can ring home Oh my son. The Viking ship is a little piece of heaven. I feel so lucky to be here. More is there to say? And a lovely balcony to sit and watch the world go by. The ship's moving, I can't even feel it, we're sailing. What more is there to say? Nothing more to say.